Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today I have something special to talk about and that is the newly finished original soundtrack of automation. It was crafted by Michael Trott from Pinstripe Audio and before we get into all the details, let's hear the opening theme that we'll be playing in the main menu. Somehow, this makes me want to build cars, which I guess is a very good sign for this game. So, what is this all about? Well, like automation itself, the soundtrack needs to start in the 1940s. The track feels like a secret mission, a secret mission to beat all your competition already in the very first years. But usually that will take a bit while longer, so you won't be winning in 1948. We have three tracks per decade, each of them resembling the mood and atmosphere that was very specific to each of these decades. For instance, the 1940s were still a bit rough, but it had a bit of a fresh start to them. And the 50s, the golden age so to say, especially in the western world, is very much different. One of the big challenges was to make everything fit together. And that's easier said than done, because musical styles change a lot over the years, as does the mood in the car industry. If we fast forward, we will arrive at some sadder times, the 1970s, the oil crisis.
Producing music for a game is pretty tough. Producing music for a product which isn't even done yet is even harder because the only thing you have to go on is vision and a few words of description. And this is actually a pretty interesting story there. Um, I received the first two tracks for, for checking by Michael and they were kind of depressing for the 70s. So I thought like, uh, Michael, could you, could you kind of kind of make the third track a bit more like uplifting? Ah, I'm feeling much better already, thank you. Of course these tracks didn't just magically appear in a finished version. It was a huge back and forth between the two of us, Michael and me. And we were shaping those songs over several different versions. Usually we were going at it like he was submitting a draft of what he thought would be reasonable for the time period with our vision uh, written down so that he had some kind of info on what we were looking for and then looking to keep the style intact from decade to decade and then iterating us forward to the various through the various decades and through the various styles in order to arrive at something for instance like the 80s Video games are an audio-visual experience and many developers seem to kind of forget the audio in audio-visual and entirely focus on the graphics. While a bad soundtrack probably won't break a good game, because you can always play your own music if you'd like to, a great soundtrack can make a good game into an excellent game. And that is exactly what we want. We want you to remember great gameplay moments and connect it to great music so that you're haunted by it and hum it along the way all day long.
Neither Michael nor I have previously worked on such a big music project. And what I personally found very difficult is to stay professional and on focus, because music is such an emotional thing which you easily get attached to, that it's easy to lose track what is good for the product which you're producing for and what you just like personally. Another big challenge are the later years because musical styles branch out so much and so many people like so many different styles that it's impossible to make something which everyone likes. So in order to circumvent this problem, we instead chose to focus on a narrative instead of a musical style progression throughout these years. So what is better than having a final boss? It gives you a sense of achievement, definitely. So what would be a final boss battle in a game like Automation? Well, probably a huge financial crisis. Which, funnily enough, is exactly what we are heading into in the real world right now. This has been a massive undertaking and I'm hugely proud to say that the quality of the product has exceeded even my high German perfectionist bastard expectations. A big thank you goes to Michael for his most excellent work. He is a newcomer to this whole business, an indie just like we. We were able to afford him because we struck a mutually very beneficial deal. While we get the soundtrack for the game and can use it as we see fit, for a more than a fair price, he gets all the revenue from the sales of the standalone soundtrack. So if you like what you hear here, and very soon also in the game, please consider supporting him directly. You can find the links to the soundtrack hosted on various stores in the description below this video. Those of you who have pre-ordered the Turbo Edition of the game, will find the soundtrack for download in your account on our forums as soon as the new update with the soundtrack has been released. A link to that is provided down below as well. So, thank you very much for listening and your support. Cheers guys! <laughs>